We report on a lot of police shootings. In fact, we've covered nearly all the 29 cases GBI is investigating this year alone. But what happens in the weeks and months after? This Sunday, a family will mark one year since their loved one was killed by police in Johns Creek. But while GBI has finished its investigation, the family is still trying to find out the truth. John Shearer talked with the women's sister. After all this time, she tells me, not wanting her face shown, after all this time, the police officers who shot and killed her sister, officers who were possibly in fear for their lives. The officers are not, she says, talking. We are asking for them to come forward and give an interview. We just want the truth. Aisha Hussein is the one who called 911 early that Saturday around 7 a.m., April 28th, a year ago. Her sister, Shukri Saeed, battling mental illness, hearing voices, had run out of the house with a knife, and four Johns Creek police officers responded, finding Shukri walking a mile or so from home. When I, I dialed 911, I was not calling for police help. I was calling for medical help. Aisha Hussein has seen the police dash cam video not released to the public yet. Did Shukri, in her mental state, even understand the officer's commands? Two Johns Creek police officers tased Shukri, Derek Wilson and Ken Kennebrew, according to the GBI. And then two Johns Creek police officers shot Shukri five times, killing her, according to the GBI, Phil Nguyen and Richard Gray. They were yelling, screaming, and she also was just telling them, I, I just need to go, I just need to go. It was so quick. Was she approaching any officers with a knife when they shot her? We saw her holding something on her hand. It was very shadowy. We couldn't tell. The GBI completed its investigation of the shooting this past July, and Shukri's family says that last week, prosecutors with the Fulton County District Attorney's Office updated them on their investigation. Aisha Hussein says that prosecutors told the family that two of the officers have now hired criminal defense attorneys and will not speak with prosecutors. The DA's office will not confirm or deny that. A year later, truth as elusive for Shukri's family as it was then. As so long as these officers are not coming forward, we just can't heal. We, we're stuck. We lost a loved one and we can't move on. We are just in that stagnant place. There's no two sides of the truth. There's one. There's just the truth. And that's what we want. We will be able to handle it. No comment from Johns Creek Police. And the DA's office is not saying when prosecutors will decide whether to charge the officers or clear them. John Sherrick reporting for us tonight. Here